Paul Gogol was arrested and executed on October 24th at the courthouse. His friend and his supporter, George William Gordon, another national hero, who had very little to do with the events, was also arrested in Kingston, tried under martial law, and saw his death by hanging on October 23rd. So my friends, I ask you, my family, who was Paul Bogle? Paul Bogle was like many of us here today, like you, like me. He was like the youth of our country who aspire for a better life, for opportunities, for education, for jobs, for fairness, for equality. He was like the parents among us who want more for our children. He was like the businessman among us who is unselfish and in unselfish ways aspire for a better Jamaica, not only for themselves, and who are among the voices for the reduction of poverty and for better education opportunities for all Jamaicans. Paul Bogle could have ignored the plight of his brothers and sisters. Remember what I said to you? The literature shows that Paul Bogle was rich in his own context. He could have minded his own business. In 1865, he chose not to. Bogle was about 45 years old. He had a lot of life ahead of him. So ask yourself, my family, why did he take the lead and risk himself in an atmosphere in which the odds were clearly against him? My answer is that Bogle did not look at what was happening in 1865. Rather, Bogle in his own mind and being the visionary that he was, he saw a better Jamaica, one in which we governed our own affairs, one in which we looked out for each other, where we would truly be our brother's keepers. He saw a Jamaica where young persons could enjoy the benefits of education and aspire to be like he was. Paul Bogle saw a Jamaica in which there were many Paul Bogles. So did Bogle die in vain? Did Bogle die in vain? No! no. We have named him a national hero. And I wonder, is his legacy only with us during Heritage Month, when we celebrate the lives of national heroes? Is his legacy only with us on a day like today, when we celebrate his bravery and that of the hundreds of Jamaicans who died during the day following October 11th, 1865? Each one of us individually will need to answer the question. We know that after the Monday events, the Jamaican Assembly renounced its charter and Jamaica became a crown colony. But where are we today? Do we have the resolve of Paul Bogle in our hearts and our spirits? Do we renounce injustice? If Bogle was alive today, what would he say about the killing of our women and children? Of our men who are supposed to head the households? What would Bogle say about the violence against persons of unsound mind? the most vulnerable. What would Paul Bogle say about the health system or the education system? And what would he say about our youth? Well, my father taught me that I am Paul Bogle. And I say to you, you are Paul Bogle. We must lift up our voices. I'm going to ask you all now, all who are sitting down, in respect of this great man and in respect of those that stood with him, some in front of him, some beside him, let us stand and observe one minute of silence in honor 
of our national hero, the right excellent Paul Bogle, and all of the Jamaicans who died with him. One boy, rise up, rise up, and I thank you for listening to me.